Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. So we're going to take a look at what's coming in and what's going out. These messages are timeless, so whenever you click on the video, that's when the messages can resonate the most. This is also general Sagittarius, so not every message is going to be for you. Just take the parts that resonate and leave the rest. So I'm going to jump into it. We're going to look at what's going out first. Spirit, give me a message for Sagittarius. What is going out? Messages for Sagittarius. What's going out? What's the energy? Okay. Oh, I have Healer of the Ages. Number 51, the number six could be significant. And what's coming in? What's coming in for Sagittarius? What is the message? What's coming in, Spirit? What's the energy? Attachment. Okay. <laughs> so the number five is definitely significant for you. Um, for some of you, you could be seeing the number 55 quite often. Let's go ahead and get into some more messages. Spirit, tell me more about Healer of the Ages. Why is Healer of the Ages here? For what's going out? Why is this here for Sagittarius? What is the message? What's the energy? Okay. Oh, temperance. Sagittarius, look at you. Showing up in your reading. Okay. Give me another message for Healer of the Ages. What's the energy? The Four of Cups. I feel like for some of you, you don't want to heal a relationship. This could be family, friends, somebody you are romantically tied to. I feel like what's going out is you trying to fix <laughs> relationships, connections, situations with people. It's like you're no longer doing that. You're no longer trying to force anything. Give me another energy for temperance. Why is temperance here with Sagittarius? What is the message? Why is temperance here? What is the energy? The hermit. Virgo energy. You can have Virgo highly aspected. Give me another energy for temperance. Why is temperance here? What is the message? The ace of cups. So I feel like for some of you, this is definitely concerning the relationship. I feel like you secretly want new love and you're tired of working on whatever partnership you're already in. So it's like you're tired of trying to heal it. Um, with the healer of the ages, like for some of you, you've been trying to heal this situation for a long time and it's you're done. You want balance. Give me an energy for the four of cups. Why is the four of cups here? What is the message? Yep. The five of cups. So I feel like you're turning your back on someone. You're rejecting someone. For some of you, it's like you could have rejected a love offer. You could have turned your back on new love in order to go fix things with this person. And now it's like, uh, I wish I never did that. I regret that. If I had to do it over again, I would do it differently. Give me another energy for the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here for Sagittarius? Yep, the King of Swords. Yeah, you're cutting this person off. And I feel like you're being very firm with this energy. Somebody could be very emotional, but yeah, you're walking away. Eight of Cups. You're leaving the situation. You're telling this person how you feel. Eight of Wands. I feel like um, this person has a lot to say when it comes to you. It's like I just see somebody like walking away and this person following behind you. And saying whatever comes to his or her mind in terms of how they feel about the situation. Like, for some of you, you're glad you're leaving because you don't have any peace. And, and when you leave the situation, it's like this person is going to show you why you made the decision to leave. Because I'm just getting like the energy of somebody like following behind you saying all types of things to like trigger you get under your skin somebody may try to like chase after you it, it's a lot like somebody's going to try to hold on to you but i feel like this is like a repetitive cycle for you 
Give me another energy for the hermit. Why is the hermit here for Sagittarius? What is the message? The Ace of Wands in the reverse. Yeah. You are not taking any more action when it comes to this person. For some of you, you could be dealing with somebody who has like a mental health issue as well. Somebody could like get very angry. Somebody could suffer like from depression. Somebody could actually um, be seeing some type of mental health professional or need to. Somebody could have also trapped you with a child or pregnancy or tried to trap you to stop you from moving forward. Give me another energy for the hermit. I also feel like um, with this ace of wands in the reverse, like you're no longer being intimate with this person or you will stop being intimate with this person. Give me another energy on the hermit. Why is the hermit here for Sagittarius? What is the message? But it's like you're no longer trying to fix this person. I feel like for some of you, you really did try to help this person. It's a lot dealing with this person's emotional instability. And you tried to help this person, but it's like you've done all that you can. You see that you cannot fix this energy. Why is the healer here? I mean, the hermit. What is the message? Yeah, judgment. You're making a decision about the situation once and for all. I feel like you've been thinking about this for a long time in secret. You may have not really been expressing how you've been feeling. But it's like now, with the hermit to the ace of cups, to judgment, it's like you're finally getting ready to express yourself and you're letting it all out i feel like you're not holding anything back give me another energy for the ace of cups why is the ace of cups here for sagittarius what is the message why is the ace of cups here for sagittarius what is the energy yep the world there's definitely a cycle coming to an end and there's definitely a child here for some of you. For some of you, um, you may have recently had um, a child pass away. Somebody could have lost a pregnancy here. Definitely my condolences. Give me another energy on the Ace of Cups. And somebody's still grieving over the loss. Why is the Ace of Cups here? What is the message? Why is the Ace of Cups here for Sagittarius? What is the energy? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> the fool. Yeah. Somebody's getting ready to leave. Somebody's taking off. Somebody's done. Something has already been complete. I feel like, you know, you just kept going back trying to fix things. Look at this. Page of Wands. Yeah, that's it. Um, I feel like whatever happened when it came to this pregnancy, um, the loss of this pregnancy, <sighs> It freed someone. I feel like somebody stayed stuck in a relationship because of a child or because, you know, somebody was pregnant. But it's like now that there's no longer a child in the picture, somebody's ready to break free. I feel like that was the only thing keeping someone stuck. And now you're ready to move forward. And whoever this um, energy is in the five of cups who you're walking away from, like, feel a great sense of loss because not only when it comes to this child but also when it comes to you like the loss of a relationship like everything pretty much is falling apart give me an energy for the five of cups why is the five of cups here for sagittarius what is the message why is the five of cups here for sagittarius what is the energy the empress um libra taurus energy tell me more Lots of five of cups here. The devil, yeah, somebody's toxic. Whoever this person is, the mother of your child, your children, this person is extremely toxic. This person also likes to guilt trip you as well. Capricorn energy on the devil. Tell me more about the empress. Why is the empress here for Sagittarius? What is the message? The magician. Yeah, this person is very manipulative, very emotionally manipulative. This person, I'm hearing like cry on cue, like they really know how to use their emotions to get you to feel guilty about leaving, walking away, pulling back from them. Oh, let's fix things, let's work on things. Like somebody really is an extreme emotional manipulator here. Give me an energy. And it's like now you're going to be in the energy of being very firm, direct with this person because you're realizing this. You're seeing this person for exactly who they are. 
Why is the devil here? What is the message? The Knight of Cups. Give me another energy on the devil. Why is the devil here? What is the message? The King of Cups. Somebody wants you to be like obsessed with them, <laughs> Sagittarius. Like for real, somebody wants you to be all about them, to see nobody but them. Like somebody wants you to be all over them. Like they want to be the one. They want you to love them. They want you to only offer love to them. Like this is a pick me, be with me, why not me type of energy. They want you to be obsessed with them because this person is obsessed with you. And I'm just looking at how this King of Cups back is turned to this Knight of Cups. This person is still going to try to like offer love. They're still going to try to be in a relationship. Somebody is not going to know how to let go. And I feel like for some of you, the reason why it's going to be so hard is because you went back so many times to fix things with this person instead of doing like a clean cutoff. And I'm hearing many, many times before. For some of you, you already know that this situation was not going to really be resolved in your favor, but you still kept going back. And now that you've created this cycle, this pattern, it's going to be hard for you to really let go of this person or for them to let go of you, I should say. This person is still going to try to offer love, but I feel like with the King of Cups, you're looking in a new direction. I feel like you have emotions for somebody else. You want to go and give your love to another. Give me an energy on the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here for Sagittarius? What is the message? The Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands. Yeah, this person is going to lash out, going to be very angry. I feel like with the Knight of Swords, this is your energy, Sagittarius. Like, you're going to have to defend yourself here. Yeah, because somebody's going to try to start a lot of drama, conflict. <sighs> That's why you're going to need to be firm with this person. Give me an energy on the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here for Sagittarius? What is the message? Why is the Five of Wands here? What is the energy? The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is want to fight for this relationship at all costs. They want to. She wants to win by any means necessary, because this person is codependent. She's not stable financially, and that's what this was about for a lot of you. Somebody didn't want to take a loss here. Like you definitely um, was beneficial to this person when it came to their stability. Give me an energy on the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? And this person know that um, they're not going to really be able to maintain their lifestyle. Why is the Knight of Swords here? What is the message? So that's why this person is lashing out. And that's the truth, Ace of Swords. I feel like for some of you, you're really starting to see just how much drama this person caused, just how vindictive this person is, how spiteful this person is. And it's like, you know what, Sagittarius, this person going to start all of this because they have this person has nothing to lose. Like I say, for some of you, you're walking away um, and this person has, you know, lost a, a pregnancy for some of you. Like, what does this person have to lose at this point? Nothing. This person has nothing to lose here. But again, you're going to be standing up for yourself. You're going to be defending yourself because you see the truth. You already know what it is. And it's like you are determined to break free. So what's going out is you no longer trying to fix this connection. No longer a Mr. Fix It or a Miss Fix It. Let's get an energy for what's coming in. Why is attachment here? Now, give me one more on the Knight of Swords before I go to attachment. Why is the Knight of Swords here for Sagittarius? What is the message? The Six of Pentacles. Oh, yes. You're seeing that this person only wants you to give to them and you're not doing that anymore. That's the truth. That's why. That's another reason why you're angry and why you're going to defend yourself so hard because you already know ain't no love here. This ain't about love. This is about money. This is about finances. This is about me taking care of me, care of you, me paying your bills. That's what this is really about. If if money wasn't a factor, y'all would have been, you know, over with this relationship. It would have been done. Like, no. Give me an energy. Um, I'm also getting like for some of you, you may realize that you're taking like some loss here. 
when it comes to your finances, your stability, because you gave a lot to the situation. And it's like right now you may not even have enough to give anymore because you've been taking care of this person. So that's another reason why you're enraged. It's like the truth is you you, you don't tap out. Trying to support this person, help this person. You don't really have too much to give or too much to offer. You're also seeing this person is not really having too much to offer either. When it comes to a connection, this person can't give you anything. That's another reason why you're walking away. Like, what can this person really do for you besides this wand over here? Like, nothing. <laughs> give me an energy on attachment. Why is attachment here for Sagittarius? What is the message? Why is attachment here for Sagittarius? What's the energy, spirit? Why is attachment here? The Queen of Wands. Give me another energy. Why is attachment here for Sagittarius? What is the message? I apologize about the dogs barking. They bark off and on. We have the Three of Swords. Give me another energy on the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here for what's coming in? Why is this here? The Five of Swords. Give me one more on the Queen of Wands. The Star in the Reverse. So for some of you, um, I'm getting like attachment as like attach. Like somebody's trying to attach a specific um, image to this Queen of Wands energy. Or that's what's going to happen. This person is going to try to um, create some type of illusion around who this Queen of Wands really is. Ruin this person's reputation. This person can be very hateful. Whoever you're leaving behind is very hateful. And this is giving me like hate speech here. Like somebody's definitely going to say a lot in order to make this Queen of Wands appear in a certain light, attach some type of stigma to this Queen of Wands energy. And it's revolving around this person's reputation. For some of you, this is who you want to go towards. This is somebody who's very attractive, very much a go-getter, innovative, creative. Somebody could be very spunky here. Give me an energy for the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? What is the message? Yeah, the Ten of Swords. So this person is heartbroken. Hurt people hurt people. So it's like whoever you're going towards, this person is going to try to attach some type of stigma. Like something has to do with reputation here. Want to make people look at this energy in a very negative light because you're leaving them behind. For some of you, this person could tell people that you had a third party with this queen of wands energy you know make it appear as if you were dealing with this person at the same time but this is only coming from a hurt place somebody don't want to let go give me an energy on the three of swords why is the three of swords here for sagittarius what is the message I'm telling you, look at this. Seven of Swords to the Six of Swords. Somebody hateful. Somebody going to be telling some lies. Somebody's going to be out for revenge here, Sagittarius. Because you're walking away. You're leaving them behind. And whoever you're going towards, or whoever this person feels you're going towards, this person is going to try to attach some type of um bad energy to this Queen of Wands. So be mindful. That's what's coming in. Drama. What's going out is you trying to heal the situation and what's coming in is more drama. Yeah, somebody's going to try to make you look bad and whoever it is you're going towards, they're going to try to make this person look bad as well because somebody's hurt. They're going to be, they're going to lie. They're going to manipulate a situation and they're going to do all of this while your back is turned, while you're moving away and this person does not care because somebody's in their emotional feels. Somebody's upset. Why is the Five of Swords here? What is the message? Why is the Five of Swords here for Sagittarius? What is the energy? Why is the Five of Swords here? Yep, the King of Wands. Give me another message. This person is going to try to win you back. This is your counterpart here. So listen, Sagittarius. This Five of Swords energy... 
Whoever this hateful person is, spiteful, vindictive, who likes to start a lot of drama and chaos, this person is standing in between you and your counterpart coming together. And there's something about reputation here. This person is going to try to make both of y'all look bad. This person trying to stand in between you and your person coming together. We have the king and queen of wands here. Both of you are very attractive and you look good together. There's something also about dress here. Somebody knows how to put on for the public here. When need be, give me an energy for the star in the reverse. This person going to talk very reckless, so get prepared for it. Going to try to make both of y'all look bad. There's something about a stigma here. Trying to attach some type of stigma to either you or this person or both of you. Give me an energy for the star in the reverse. Strength. This person is determined here. I'm hearing shallow. Somebody's very shallow here. Leo energy on strength. This person is determined to make you look bad though. Give me an energy on the ten of swords. Why is strength here? Give me a message for strength. Ooh, we the emperor in the reverse. You know what? Um Somebody's going to make you look like you're not stable. This person's going to spread a lot of lies about you. I'm even getting like some DV here. Like this person may even lie about that. Be mindful. Like don't engage with this energy because this person may try to get you in some type of trouble. May try to say that you're very aggressive. Somebody's going to make you look like you're not a provider. Um, you're not emotionally available. You're not a good person. You don't have any type of integrity. Um, this person will tell your business. And a, a lot of it is going to be mixed in with a whole bunch of lies. Like this person is going to gossip about you. This person is going to make you look real bad. Like you have a temper. Like you're just a horrible person. Somebody is going to like be very vengeful. This person wants revenge. Give me an energy on the Ten of Swords. But you know, hurt people hurt people. Somebody's not going to be able to let it go. That's what I'm getting with this attachment. This person ain't going to be able to let it go. Mm -mm. Give me an energy on the Ten of Swords. This person don't want to let it go. Page of Cups. Yeah. This person may come off as being innocent. This person may also come off like nothing's wrong. Like, you know, oh no, we get along. I'm fine. You know, he's moving on and I'm good and I'm happy for him. But no, this person is hurt. Three of swords to the ten of swords to the seven of swords. This person is hurt and is seeking revenge. Just going to try to come off like they're not bothered. They're happy for you. Like they're innocent. They want peace. But no, they don't. This person wants war. Give me an energy for the seven of swords. The chariot in the reverse. Yeah. I feel like this person, Cancer Energy, this person's not going to be able to get anywhere with this, though. Yeah. It's not going to go anywhere. This person's going to do a lot, but only thing this energy is going to do is exhaust themselves. That's it. This person is just, is just going to exhaust himself or herself in this situation. Yeah. This person's not going to be able to really move forward. It's not going to have the impact that this person think it is. Because for some of you, this person is going to be viewed as just being bitter. And even if people don't see this energy as being bitter initially, over time, they will realize that this person is doing all of this because they are bitter. Give me an energy on the Six of Swords because they're being left behind. Why is the Six of Swords here for Sagittarius? What is the message? Why is the Six of Swords here for Sagittarius? What is the energy? The moon. You're following your intuition, Pisces, Cancerian energy, heavy on the Cancer. Give me another message. I feel like you're also being secretive. You're not letting this person know where you're going. This person just guessing, but really don't know for sure, for sure. The Queen of Cups. I feel like whoever you're going towards is a healing energy. It's very nurturing, compassionate. This person can be very intuitive. Give me an energy on... 
the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? What is the message? The Three of Pentacles. Yeah. You're going to build somewhere else. I feel like whoever you're moving towards, you're going to be able to like really work with this person. For some of you, you may actually like um, start some type of business together. I'm being like creative. Both of you can be very creative here. Both of you can like bounce ideas off of each other. But it's like you and this person are going to build. That's what I'm getting. You're going towards somebody you can actually build with. Because it's like whoever you're leaving behind, you can build with this person. You got to take care of this person. And it was just setting you up for failure. It's like you got further and further behind. Like... How can you really grow anything when all of your resources is going into somebody who's really not trying to help themselves? So you're going towards somebody who's on the same level as you, on the same playing field. Yeah, you and this person are going to work together. For some of you, you may meet this person at work with the Three of Pentacles. Let's pull a final message. Spirit, give me a final message for Sagittarius. So you're not healing this relationship anymore. That's going out. That's over. And what's coming in is a whole bunch of drama. But you're going to be able to move forward. And, and you're going to have something that is more stable for you coming in, Sagittarius. You're going to get it. Literally, you're being guided towards this other energy. For some of you, this is your person, your counterpart. I'm hearing damage control. Yeah. This person is not going to be able to get far. This person is not going to, this energy is not going to get the results that he or she thinks they're going to get. They're not going to get the reaction. Give me a final message for Sagittarius. What is the energy? This person is just going to be seen for being a hater, being spiteful. Dream it to life. See and feel what will soon be real. Take time to visualize the experience you want to have before any situation. Yeah, I feel like you've been thinking about leaving for a long time. You've been thinking about what life will be like without this person. What it would be like to be with somebody else, to have peace, clarity, just to just to have a situation that's balanced where you don't have to force it, don't have to fight for it, don't have to keep on going back and forth, you know, all these ups and downs, something that's stable. And because you kept visualizing it, Sagittarius, that's what you're getting, something that's going to be built on a solid ground. So Sagittarius, this is your reading. I hope it resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.